Hello, my sexy muffins, and welcome back to another video. In this video, we are going to be doing Peter from Your Boyfriend. And I do I just want a disclaimer that I do not support the creators of Your Boyfriend and what they have done or what they have been accused of done innocent before proven guilty. I don't know if by the point I'm recording this, I don't follow their life, but I heard they did something pretty bad. We're not going to get into it there. I just like the character and the concept of the world. I do not support the creators on a personal level. And that's why I have yet to play the third day because I stopped supporting them because ew. If they ever finish the game, great. If they don't, we will enjoy what content we have. But I, until they are proven innocent or it is resolved, I am not going to be supporting that. And you can choose if you want to. It's a free country, at least where I live. And if you want to do that or to support them, it's up to you. I'm not going to judge you for it, but please... Do not victim blame if they are victims involved in this because there's two sides to every story. And until we have them there, it resolved in a court of law. We do not know what happened and we have to remain impartial. And that's what I'm trying to do. I still enjoy the content, but I'm not going to support it on my personal level. And I'm still going to create content with it, but I am not going to say I believe what this person did is right. And I'm not even going to say what they did because it doesn't matter right now. Anyways, I hope that you all enjoy this. Disclaimer, Peter is Yandarian canon. And this is basically him being Yandere for you, the listener, as I read it off for you. Actually, I'm doing it freestyle. So that means I have no notes on it. Lovely. And it is Peter with... I'm trying to look up the title I had. Okay. Male Depressed Listener Slash Reader. I will be... No, I'm not typing this out. So it's just listener. Male Depressed Listener. Okay. So we're going to be talking about some depression. And possible trigger warning for suicidal ideation. Because that might be mentioned. And maybe a suicide attempt trigger warning. If that makes you uncomfy, I will possibly say a trigger warning before it happens, if I remember. But if not, please leave now if it makes you uncomfy. Thank you, and let's do this. Peter really cared about you. No, he loved you. No, he adored you. You were his greatest love of his life, and he needed you in his life. He needed you so badly. He couldn't fathom a world without you. But slowly, he began to see that you started taking less care of yourself. Your hair has been just thrown up or just not washed at all. Your clothes are not as ironed. They started off not being ironed. And then they slowly got changed less and less. And he always sees you now in sweatpants and sweatshirts. Sometimes fresh, sometimes not. He begins to worry about you. You also stopped eating as much during lunch at the diner that he watched you at. You would just pick at your lunch break, pushing the food around, not really into it, then throwing it away after your lunch break was over. He also sees that you have dark circles under your eyes. You're not getting enough sleep or not getting good quality of sleep. He is becoming more and more worried. So he finally decides to follow you home. He watches you from your window of your apartment, ignoring your terrible roommates and watching you as you climb into bed and just lay on your stomach, holding a pillow to your face. He can hear the soft crying and it breaks his heart. He wants to go in there and hold you, but he can't just yet. He watches as you trigger warning, self-harm he watches you roll up your sleeves and harm yourself i'm not going to go into details because i'm now a partner with youtube and i'm not going to get my channel canceled but i will you know what he's doing and harm yourself crying as you do so he feels his heart shatter how could he have not noticed it got this bad why didn't he intervene before this he is devastated he then sees you throw the item aside that you harmed yourself with 
and he sees you pass out you rather hurt yourself rather badly and it would not stop he panics he yanks your window open your roommate is doing it too loud to loud music to hear him your pulse is low your splution red stuff too much it is terrible this is not good this is not good he quickly tears off his, a stream of his shirt and ties a tourniquet on your arm to stop the blood flow from it i said blood word oh well we know what it was he then tears it off the rest of his shirt, taking it over his head, and presses it against the open wound. He is devastated, but he needs to get you out of here. He needs to stop the bleeding first. And he does. He does stop the bleeding. Then he picks you up, takes you out the window, and puts you into his van. Using chloroform to fully knock you out, just in case there was any awakeness, and taking to his place. He messed up. He was not there for you. He knew this. He was self-blaming and he knew it because he sees you every day. He watches you every day and he didn't put a stop to this. How could he have not seen this? How could he have been so stupid? He's blaming himself the entire drive home. Finally, he gets you home and gets your arm clean and bandaged. He then puts you into his bed. He's not going to sleep next to you because he doesn't want to scare you, but he also doesn't want you to hurt yourself. So he ties your, uh, your good arm above your head and ties your, uh, your upper arm against the bed frame as there are holes into it. So you don't agitate your wrists there. He strokes your cheek and sighs. He has to take care of you, but he has to make accommodations. While you are knocked out, he makes everything perfect for you to be safe and sound in your new home. He knows it will not be easy. He knows you will fight him. He knows you will scream, and you know he knows you will do everything to get away from him. After all, accepting help is never easy, and if you didn't turn to anyone, even your roommate or him, for help, even though he started seeing you on a couple of dates. He knew you would not accept help easily, and he is willing to do whatever it takes to keep you alive. Because you are the love of his life, and he is going to keep you alive. As he finishes up soundproof in the apartment, he hears you wake up and goes to see you. You are a bit disoriented, but then when your eyes land on him, they widen and you scream, You! What are you? am I doing here? And thus it has begun. His real, your rehabilitation to get better and him loving you to help you through it. Anyways, that got a little bit more intense than I thought. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed. And if you would like to see more, I will probably have a playlist at the end of uh, videos and such that you can go check out. This got intense. I'm probably not going to get monetized for I'm not even going to monetize for this properly. Even if it gets so many views and I could make so much money off it. No, this was not. No. Anyways, I hope that you all enjoyed. I didn't know where I was going with this, but oof, did it hit me hard. Anyways, you, my sexy muffins. Uh, it is Christmas month and I'm pre-recording this along with others. I have a Valentino one, uh, Charlie and Vaggie one, uh, Molius from Twisted Wonderland. Uh, da, 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 da. I have an anti tales I'm going to do and two others when I do enough research on them to write their notes down. Cause I got write notes on those two and I'm probably going to try to react to a video reacting to people i do not like someone requested it I, it's a song apparently and i have not reacted to it yet i if i can manage it i'll do it mm. anyways i hope that you all enjoyed this and of course there will be playlists on it make sure you are still in the muffin tin by being subscribed because sometimes the youtube gods decide to yeet you out of the muffin tin without your permission or consent and we do not like being needed unless we choose to be yeeted. Anyways, I hope that you all enjoyed. I keep saying that. I 
Take a shot. I'm just kidding. Do not take a shot. Disclaimer. That was a joke. Do not demonetize me. Ugh. Anyways, I hope that you all enjoyed. And yes, I am now a partner of YouTube. I don't know if I'm going to be making any money. I'm probably not going to make a lot of money. But I thought, what the hell? You guys helped me get here, so I might as well make the, it worthwhile. Whoop, whoop. Anyways, I hope that you all enjoyed. And yes uh i'm trying to think what else i feel like i'm missing something oh yes do not request because i'm getting through the backlog i'm almost halfway through it and then we'll be able to get through also updates will be slow most likely because my mom's in the hospital so some days i will go like four days in a row without updating because i haven't had time to record or time to edit the recordings i have if i have recordings. so yes anyways i hope you all enjoyed once more <laughs> and stay sexy on my sexy muffins bye bye mouse come alive